Why'd you pick me? Why? We never wanted you to take the fall. No bullshit. Bullshit! You introduced us. You took me to that opening. And you knew I'd pull the trigger and cover it up. But how'd you know I'd go all the way? How'd you know I'd go all the way? I know my dream. Oh, come on, Andrew. Everyone got what they wanted out of it. You got the money to success, and you got to screw my girl. What the money? You are clever. There was two guns. You and Jane switched the guns after I killed Noby. Then you used the same gun to kill Frank. Right? Yeah. What I'd like to know, why didn't you set me up earlier? Huh? You knew she had an alibi! She was going to Montreal! Yeah, but you kept her here. You made it impossible for us to use the alibi. So, Frank was on to the alibi, and you... And you, uh... And you killed him. We had no choice. We had no choice. Yeah, Martin tried. Someone had to take the fall. You're sick. You. You are sick. Don't. 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 God! Rock time. Okay. I, I really love you so much. Can you forgive me? I am not sure what kind of deal I can make for his testimony. I just want your assurance that Andrew will get a fair trial.
Your Lordship, I must excuse myself from the Crown's prosecution in this case. My assistant stands indicted for the murder of Frank Rutter. She is further charged along with Jane Clare and Andrew Garfield in a conspiracy to murder Norbert Clare. This murder had all the elements to be perfect. So where did it go wrong? I can only conclude that the human factor was its undoing, as it was mine. With a crown prosecutor who has sight but is blind, who has hearing but is deaf.